There seems to be one common denominator in these Great Lakes bays, and I would consider Schwamigan Bay a large bay. This is early July right now, and these fish are just now starting to move. You'll want to look for them at first into the real shallow stuff, and they'll come out after they spawn, and they'll go to that first drop off. So from the shoreline, it'll taper on all the way out here, out in this area to that first break. And that first break is a place that I like to look. In this particular area, that's anywhere from seven to 11 feet. And what I really like to look for in many of the Great Lakes, and particularly here in Schwamigan Bay, is that narrow band of weeds that grows right at the base of that drop. And the fish are at first gonna hang right in those weeds or just on the outside edge. Now I was here about a week ago, that's where the fish were. But then as you get more and more warm weather, those fish start to filter out into the flats. And what we have in front of us here is a huge flat. It ranges anywhere from 13 down to 20 some feet. And that's kind of a typical scenario also for the Great Lakes. As they wander out along those flats, later in the summer, they may hit the deeper weeds or rock piles. Here in Schwamigan Bay, they kind of work out into those middle of the flats areas, so you have to try to find them from day to day. But then they'll even dump out into the main deep channel coming in from Lake Superior. And you can use like number 11 flicker minnows on lead core and stuff, start targeting those deeper fish. You won't get as many fish normally, but you're gonna get some monsters, you know, some eight to 12 pound fish. So that's kind of a general pattern. It's a pattern that we're fishing here today. We came in at first looking at that shallow weed edge where I caught them last week. Didn't have as good a success. Started moving out into the flat a little bit. Bam, hit little pods of fish here and there.